I am Teen Molina, and let me start by saying this. You are formed for God's family. Wow, isn't this amazing? We are just mere human beings, but God wants us to be a part of a great community and family. Because God is love, He treasures relationships. His very nature is relational. Kaya naman, ginawa niya tayo upang tayo ay mapabilang sa isang family. At yun ay ang church. When we place our faith in Christ, He becomes our Father, we become His children, and the other believers are our brothers and sisters. This is a growing family because it grows in number as time passes by. Our spiritual family, our relationship with our brothers and our sisters, echoes into eternity. And this is a much stronger and a more permanent bond. So what are the two B's that we can get from being a part of God's family or the church? Number one, blessings. The Bible says, since you are His child, everything that He has belongs to you. Wow! Talk about inheritance! The moment you said yes to God and made you a part of His family, everything He has, now you have. Family likeness, family privileges, family intimate access, all of those. You can converse with God anywhere and any time of the day. Your spiritual family too is a great blessing. These are good and trusted people whom you can share your burdens with. If others pay um, a costly service just to be heard, your spiritual family has a very willing heart to listen and to give their time for you. Let us see Philippians 4.19. This verse implies that as a child of God, here we are given the riches of His grace, kindness, goodness, and mercy. And we are far more richer than that because number one, we will get to be with God forever. And number two, we will be completely changed like Christ. Have you heard someone told you na, Uy, ba't di mo yun pinatulan? Bago ka ata. Parang naging patient ka. It's because brothers and sisters, God is working in you. And that will lead us to our second B, beautiful transformation. Your spiritual family plays an important role in the refinement of your character and in the renewing of your perspective. God sent this family, your church, to hone your character holistically. On my personal experience, I before was very self-centered. I want the attention to be all mine and the affirmation to be all mine. But when God placed me in the spiritual family, I learned by the grace of God to be selfless, to look more on others than solely looking on myself. God used the church to understand and to love His people. After all, that is the very nature of God. And the same God who changed and is changing me is the same God who is working in you. To be part in His family is life's greatest privilege. In Hebrews 2 verse 11, it says there, So now Jesus and the one He makes holy have the same Father. That is why Jesus is not ashamed to call us His brothers and sisters. Let the truth sink in. You are a part of His family. And because Jesus makes you holy, He is proud of you. Being included in God's family is the greatest honor and the highest privilege one can receive. So whenever you feel unimportant, unloved, and insecure, remember to whom you belong. To all the first-time viewers right there, you might be wondering, can I be part of God's family too? Why of course! This invitation of God is universal, but we have to abide in His one condition. The Bible says, for you are all children of God through faith in Christ Jesus. So that's it. Thank you, Cairo, and see you. If you want to know more about Jesus, we'll be glad to have an online Bible study with you. Just contact the number shown on the screen.